Welcome to the start of 2024 with Brandenburg. I'm Paul Dyer and with me today is the celebrated award-winning librettist, playwright and director Alana Valentine. Alana, welcome to the program. Thank you, Paul. Now tell us about yourself and your work within Australia and overseas. So in more recent years I've been working actually a lot more with music so I've had a a career as a playwright working on stage, but I, uh, I wrote a musical uh, which ended up winning Best Helpman Award winning musical um, with Ursula Jovic called Barbara and the Camp Dogs. Some of your subscribers might know it. And uh, I've also worked with Opera Australia on a new libretto uh, with Christus Cholkos was the co-writer and Joe Twist was the writer who some of your, uh, the, the composer who some of your um, audience will also know very well because I know he's been featured in some of your programs, Indeed. Paul. So if we were to describe um, the, the main, you know, scope of work that you do, would you say you're a script writer? Would you say you're setting music to words? Would you say you're a, a stage director? What would be your uh, spin on that? Well, I mean, I, I guess my bread and butter is I'm a writer uh, for many mediums, um, for the stage. I love live performance, as you do. And, uh, yeah, as I say, I, I've been more and more interested in music. I have done quite a bit of directing in my career, but I, I like to do it on projects where there's there's a kind of a new form being broken. I think that is what's most exciting about this project is that we're trying to do something with what the Brandenburg do as a, you know, their, their great uh, hallmark, but also add another element. So that's what I'm trying to do as a writer and director. I've been really inspired by the way in which you have also wanted to gift to the artists in Brandenburg um, experiments as musicians. You know, like there is beautiful concerts where you just play the music, but it's been extraordinary for me to see your collaborations with Circa, with other um, text-based sorts of um, works. And I just, I really love that you and Bruce want to give to the, the musicians a sense that they're artists and that they're exploring different forms. You know, it, it, it's hard to take risks. It always is. But I'm very, very excited and not just for your audience, but also for the musicians that they'll be able to, you know, sort of like just stretch their wings. How does this work with having text and actors and not just being there as the musicians? Yeah. One of the most beautiful things uh, Notre Dame is about storytelling. It's about the story and the emotions that go with uh, this magnificent building. And I think uh, just to have, as you said before, the, the contemporary idea, uh, I've got a contemporary piece of music written by an Australian, um, a Frenchified Australian uh, com young composer uh, to, to finish the, the to conclude the production, which is exciting. So I think those of you who, who are in for the treat of your life and you don't want to get on, on a plane and go to Paris right now, Notre Dame, Australian Brandenburg Orchestra, come along. <laughs> 